one of the real problems is there may never actually be an agreement between banks and fintechs. So adoption is poor. Uh, in a mandated model, you have a strong case for adoption, uh, but perhaps not a very good uh, incentive to innovate, incentive to do more than what is set out in, in the, in the, by the regulator. So we think that a third model, which we're seeing to start emerge around the world, uh, a mediated model where the regulator acts as a, uh, an honest broker, if you will, uh, facilitating the uh, negotiations between banks and fintechs, uh, setting out an appropriate legal infrastructure, but not actually taking that step of forcing access uh, is a sustainable approach. Now, one of the reasons that uh, uh, this particular type of mediated model is important, we believe, is that I think one of the challenges when working in a jurisdiction as international as the UAE is the need to understand uh, the difficulty in achieving standardization. Stephen raised a really good point. Rather than look for standardization as a goal, we should look at standardization as an aspiration. Instead, what we should be working towards is interoperability. So having broad principles that all parties can agree upon without necessarily forcing our way into a single mandated standard that everybody needs to comply with. If you take the position that the customer has rights in their data and they should be able to choose to select a regulated actor to port their data to, to their benefit, the um, market-led model and the mediated model don't work very well. Uh, the reason for that is the customer could choose to share their data with a party that their financial incumbent party does not wish to interact with. So one of the things we've noticed in all the markets that have had either mediated or market-led is that has led from time to time for market exclusion for companies, some of whom are pretty substantial market actors, because if the customer can't enforce their right to share, the data recipient can't enforce their right to deal. So we've seen in Japan and New Zealand and the US, numerous examples uh, of where uh, a market actor has been excluded from the market in a competitive situation. The registration and identity layer and the security profile work a little bit like electrical plugs and sockets and voltages. And I think uh, very clearly, uh, we've already seen the Australian market adopt uh, you know, the same sort of standard as we've adopted in the UK. We've seen the Brazilian market then go ahead and adopt that. And we're, you know, I think the, uh, the, the US market via FDX is, is pretty, pretty close to going in the same direction, or at least, you know, uh, that's, what, that's what, I, what I've heard.